Hi guys, new video today featuring Alex Elliott Golf. Alex actually came down to a Euro Pro event last year, done some filming, asked me for a couple of tips I could guide to help amateurs improve their game. Well, if you struggle in the wind, and if you struggle consistently striking your irons, you've come to the right place. This video has the answers for you. If you like what you see, just press the subscribe button there. Thank you and enjoy. So we're going to get into irons. I think a lot of amateurs, especially we spoke about this kind of off camera before, there's kind of two things we feel that they miss out when they're hitting irons. So number one, what do you think? I think the main problem is they don't hit enough club. Yeah. So whatever they think it is, if they think it's a seven iron, you're probably best off hitting the six. Yeah. Hitting it a bit smoother and then really the result will probably end up being closer to the pin. Okay. Perfect. So we've set up a scenario here. We're going to say we've got 155. You said to me before your 7 iron goes about 170? 175. Five, 175. Yeah. We have 155. This is probably one of those scenarios into the wind where, okay, you probably could get 8 there. Yep. But seven's probably going to be the better kind of... Well, exactly, club. yeah. 8 iron will probably spin up. So, I mean, even for myself and definitely for most amateurs, you should just swing easier in the wind, club up, and just hit a smoother one. Perfect. So, so I'll show you that. give me that version now. Okay. Nice. So would you say that would be something you should say, regardless where it's the wind, most amateurs should probably, probably do? Yes, definitely. So we'll go tip number one, mm -hmm. more club. More club. S swing easier, whether it's swing in the easier. wind or in general. Just in general, but especially in into the wind. wind. Perfect. So tip number two, I kind of said this to you before, I don't think many amateurs actually take a divot with their irons. No. So how would you say to someone, right, okay, I you're teaching me now, how would you go, right, okay, Alex, this is how, this is one drill, one tip that I feel you could do to make hit the iron. So I'll give you a ball. See it. Okay. So, a lot of amateurs, they're trying to help the ball up, aren't they? They're trying yeah. to help it up, but the, there's the loft on the club anyway. So the loft will do the work, but the best tip I'd done when I was trying to improve and get better was I would put a tee, maybe a few inches behind the ball. Perfect. So uh, that's straight down your ball's target ball, line, sorry. yeah? Yes, in line with your target line. And then the aim of the drill is to hit the ball, then the tee. If you're not hitting the tee, you're not hitting down enough. So, so, and I'd say this is probably when we get kind of four, five, six iron one amateurs want to scoop it up into the air even more. Exactly, this is yeah. something that they could probably do. Exactly. With wedges, they'd probably find it quite easy. And sure. that's probably something they should do. Start with wedges. Oh, this is easy. This is easy. Yeah. Then move through the bag. And then, like you said, when you get into the long irons, four, five, six, I think then that's when they'll uh, struggle. But Perfect. yeah, great drill to do. Perfect, Jack. So you've got seven iron in your hand. Yeah. Let's see it. So we've got this tee roughly about four inches in front. Yes. And as we kind of go up the bag, this tee probably gets a little bit closer maybe. Yeah, for sure. So with a seven iron, you probably want it four inches, but as you get in the longer clubs, you'd probably want it a little closer because you're not hitting down as much. Sure. Uh, but you still want to be hitting slightly down. And so. I'd say, even if we don't hit the tee peg, it's just that kind of feeling of it's working feeling. towards exactly, it. Exactly, for sure, yeah. So if it's there, it's an image, a visual, you will be working this way more rather than this Perfect. way. Perfect, let's see it. Nice. And the tee peg just moving. I think the good thing is here, yeah. we're hitting down on it, but we're not taking great big logs. Exactly. It's so a shallow, but hitting yeah. downwards on it. Shallow, but hitting downwards. Yeah. Which I think the nice simple thing, like you said, use that visual mm -hmm. and aim towards hitting the tee and just yeah. vary that tee length depending on what club we've got. Exactly. Yeah. So perfect. There you go, guys. Jack's two top tips to hit your irons better. So number one, swing easy. Yep. And that's regardless in the wind, but even more, more so in the wind. More so in the wind, yeah. And then tip number two, depending on if you're someone that scoops the ball, we're going to try and put a tee peg just in front mm -hmm. and aim towards hitting it. Yep. Perfect. Thanks so much for coming on the channel. Guys, hope you enjoyed the video and had all the answers you were looking for. In the meantime, if you haven't already, just click that button there and subscribe and join me on my journey to the European Tour. This is your fast track to greater golf.